everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Doc. I'm your host, Jennifer Filzen, and we are in studio today. And I'm super excited. We have Dr. Magali Brewer of MPB Group in Maryland. Welcome, Dr. Brewer. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm thrilled to have you. So tell us all about your practice and what you specialize in. So MPB Group is an outpatient mental health clinic. We're located in Maryland. Um, we have two locations, one's in Columbia and one's in Laurel. And we have, um, I started as a private practice back in 2003, a long time ago, but just developed it over the years into a group practice, then an outpatient mental health clinic. And we've essentially been expanding and developing areas of specializations to meet the needs of the community. Our most recent development is the development of a psychedelic assisted psychotherapy program, which will be holistic mental health retreats in Jamaica um, using psychedelics. So we could talk about that a little bit later, but that's just a general overview of our recent expansion. Wow. Okay. Okay. This is, this is phenomenal. First off, you get to get treatment in Jamaica. Yes, please. Thank you yeah. very much. So, <laughs> now you, you, I love it how you just glossed over an entire journey in a very short time, my darling, I really want to hear your story. So how did you get to where you are and, and who is the target audience that you tend to serve? So in 2003, I decided I wanted to start a private practice, but at the same time, I knew that I didn't want to work as a solo practitioner forever. I wanted to integrate other people and other clinicians who I've, you know, I've, I've met along my journey and training. So I brought on other students I trained with, um, other colleagues from the classroom, and we developed into a group practice. Um, we very soon found out and realized that the need out there was much greater than a small group could provide. So we decided to also integrate training into the program. So we're training master's and doctoral level students and how to be very successful and um, integrated clinicians. And then we developed a patient mental health clinic. We developed a couples and family institute to service couples and families. We developed an ISP program to develop to service substance abuse clients. We developed a trauma recovery center to service clients with trauma, like PTSD and abuse. And we also developed a child adolescent trauma program specifically for children and adolescents. We essentially were just developing wow. programs to meet the needs of the community, increasing staff. And that's how we've gotten to where we are. It sounds like really what you've done is you've you've grown personally as well as growing within your practice to serve the community, right? Because it sounds like you were focusing on maybe one person, but then it sounds like as you continue to grow, you were serving the entire family and, and the yes. entire support network of that family. That is fascinating. So how do people find you? I mean, are they getting referred by other physicians? Are they finding you? by reading a book? Like how, how are you discovering these amazing people that you're helping? Well, you know, a lot of it is word of mouth, which we absolutely love. You know, people will come here, they'll have really great experiences and they'll talk about it with family and friends. But, you know, we do get referrals from the school system, for Department of Social Services, from the hospitals upon discharge, um, you know, from professors that I've had in the past and just colleagues. So the referrals are really coming from everywhere. And of course, we have social media presence. So we have a website, mpbhealth.com, as well as Healing Skates Foundations for the retreats. So, you know, it really comes from everywhere because the need is so great. I feel like the need is just coming from all over the place. So, you know, we just really quickly try and shuffle and make changes so we can make accommod accommodate people who really need the services. Oh, I'm so proud of you. You're, you're, you're doing great. So, okay, let's talk about Jamaica and the use of psychedelics. <laughs> Isn't it interesting how, you know, it was like, oh no, say no to drugs. Like, don't, don't touch that stuff. And now it's like yeah. this whole 180 shift, right? Where we're discovering, yeah. no, no, there are a lot of really great medicinal and therapeutic properties within these psychedelics. Can you address that and why we're going to Jamaica? I mean, come on, sign me up, please. <laughs> Absolutely. So, you know, it was really, I feel like things have happened so quickly. Um, my colleague and I, we took a course through Harvard University. They're continuing education about psychedelics as a therapeutic. And, you know, as you said, it's been like a whole cycle. It's a pattern. You know, things happen in patterns in life. 
and it's cyclical. Whereas, you know, we, everything used to be legalized and people were using recreationally and then things got out of control. And then we had the war on drugs and everything shut down. But now it's just a resurgence. It's called the psychedelic renaissance, essentially, where, you know, the government and different, you know, reputable organizations like John Hopkins University and Harvard are seeing the benefits, the medicinal benefits of hallucinogenics, specifically of psilocybin, which is the magic mushroom, um, also of ketamine. So, you know, we're going to be developing ketamine clinic here in Maryland, but, you know, our major project and our major, major focus right now is in developing, um, you know, more holistic health mental health retreats in Jamaica because that's where psilocybin is legal. So we'll be having our first round of retreats in October. Um, and they will be for clients, you know, who are couples who want to kind of rekindle the relationship. And also for those who suffer grief and loss because psilocybin is something that can really help clients in terms of, you know, going into their own psyche and um, addressing the blockages they may have, coming out with just a more open awareness and insight into their own being, who they are in the world, and how they deal with challenges. It's very, very transformative. It's, it's really, really amazing. Wow, that is amazing. And, and thank you for explaining the origin of why Jamaica, because of course, who doesn't love to go to Jamaica, but the fact that it's legal there. Wow, yeah. that's really impressive. Yeah. So when, when people are seeking treatment, um, how do they find you? How do they find your group? Please give us a quick little uh, uh, address of how we can find you in the future. Absolutely. So our web address is www.mpbhealth.com. We have a full online service so clients can just go to the website, click on register, and it'll take them through the whole process. Of course, they can always call their office, which is 410-730-2385. And if they're interested in the retreats, there is a link from MPB to Healing Escapes Foundation, but the website directly for the retreats is healingescapesfoundation.org. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. Dr. Brewer, you are making the world a better place. And thank you so much for visiting us on the Ask the Doc show. Everybody, I hope you really enjoyed getting to know Dr. Brewer and finding out more about the MPB group in Maryland. If you want to find out more and you weren't quick enough to write down what she said, please go to Buzz TV at IWantABuzz.com and you'll find out more information. Again, Dr. Brewer, you're amazing. Thank you so very much. And everybody, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Thank Bye. You.